Well, hey there, everyone. It's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. I'm thrilled to be joining Altenew again this month for their newest Build a Flower release, and this is the Hellebore Flower. I was unfamiliar with what this flower looked like or anything about it really. So the first thing I always do is open up the pamphlet that comes with the stamp set. It's beautiful. It's a trifold pamphlet. So there's lots of inspiration on the inside. And then of course it has the layering guide on the back. Each of these flowers has four layers to it and it helps it create a really nice realistic look to the flower, which is usually what the build of flowers go for. I'm going to go ahead and start stamping these so that you can get an idea of how the layers look together. First, I'm going to place the base layer onto my cardstock that I've placed into my mini Misty. And when I use a stamp positioning tool, it just really helps me to be sure that I get the stamps lined up perfectly so that I get the best cohesion of the layers together. I'm using a mini ink cube set called Rose Petal, and I've actually omitted the very lightest color rose quartz. So my base color was Puffy Heart. I'm then going in with Purple Wine, Cosmic Berry, and for my final layer, which is just a really small little sort of like a detail layer, I'm actually going in with the new pigment metallic ink or pigment ink metallic from Altenew and I'm using antique gold and when I do this obviously it's not as realistic because obviously there's not um, you know points of gold in a flower that you would normally find in nature but it really helps to just bring a little bit more elevation to these stamped images so here I've gone ahead and lined up my final uh, layer which again is just a little bit of a detail layer and then I'm taking antique gold pigment ink and just putting it right on top of that layer. This actually is only at the very bottom of this part of this particular flower but I want to make sure that I use the smallest layer one because I don't want to stamp over the gold pigment ink because I don't think that that would show up very well uh, but also I just want this to be a little hint of gold and I think that that just looks so cool. It changes the look of the flower a bit. It gives it a little bit more of a feminine look or a celebratory look even and I really like the idea of that. You'll see now that I'm going to go ahead with my uh, leaves and the leaves actually have three layers each. So the first layer I'm using is frayed leaf and then going in with forest glades Oh, no, nope, I'm sorry. That was evergreen. <laughs> I went in with evergreen. And then again, finally, for the final layer, which is actually just like the uh, center details of the leaves, I'm going in again with that antique gold. And in the light, you can see that it just shines perfectly. And you can see on that pink flower that I tried an orange center, but I actually go ahead and change that. And you can see that now I changed it to a green center just because I liked the way that the green... Uh, reacted or looked with the purple colors a little bit better. So here are all of the images that you get in the stamp set and I've decided to use these images on a card today. For this card front that you see right here you'll see that it's textured and I actually used one of the Altenew stencils and all of the supplies that I used are linked in the description but I actually used the stencil and put it through my die cutting machine to give that impression. In the end, I actually end up just using a flat piece of cardstock because I thought that the detail on the patterned piece or the textured piece of cardstock just took away a little bit of the floral arrangement and what I was trying to do, which is just to make a really nice simple card so that the gold pieces in these flowers stood out and was the star. I use the sentiment Never Lose Hope, which is from the Hope stamp set, also from Altenew and I called it a day. I hope that you've enjoyed learning this quick and simple tip on how to elevate and bring some different interests into your layered stamped images. As always, all of the links to the products used today are in the description, as well as the link to the blog hop. Thanks so much for stopping by, and I'll see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye.